Hey, this is Dylan with Repair Spots. Today in this video, we're going to be going over the sales and reports page, as well as register management and how to follow up with the sales you've made and generate reports for your store. So to get started from the portal, let's go ahead and go to the sales and reports page on the menu on the left hand side. In the sales and reports page, we'll be able to see our total day sales and we'll have a list of all the sales we've made right here. We'll also see their perspective dates, how much the sale was for, at what time it was, a little brief description about the items included in the sale, and the date. So if we want to go ahead and open any of these sales, we can choose to open this and then see a receipt for the sale that we generated. We can also choose to void this sale at this screen. We can also link to a customer if a customer is not already linked to this sale. We can print any kind of receipt. So if you need an air printed regular format PDF, or if you wanted to print this out as a regular receipt. And then we also have our SMS receipt. So if you want to send this via SMS and text message to the customer, you can do that as well. Now on the right hand side, we'll have our reports and our growth insights to see how many new customers have joined this month. But back up here at the top, we'll also have our close register buttons in order to close and open the register between days. So at the end of a day, you can always go to the close register button. It will tell us how many total sales we've had since our last checkout, how much the cash drawer should have, and how much the cash in amount was, as well as the total amounts of all of our other payment methods available. We'll type in the amount for the end of day. And if anything ever doesn't match, we can always look through the sales on our right hand side. So if we want to see what sales are included in this end of day, we can evaluate those sales here and make sure everything seems right. If there's ever a discrepancy in the amount here, then we will be told how much we are missing in register and we'll be forced to leave a note due to this inconsistency. So we can explain very quickly why there was shorted an amount in the register. and then we can complete the end of day. It's important that if you're a regular employee that you choose to print at this moment as you won't have the option to generate a report for this after you choose to get off of this screen. You do have to have admin access in order to generate any of the reports from our system so it's very important that at this moment you take the advantage and choose to print this receipt. All right. Now if we want to generate any reports we can choose a from and to date for this report. So let's say we want to generate a report for a couple months to now and we want to generate a sales report. This is an admin locked feature so again you will have to be an admin in order to generate this report. And then we can go ahead and see that report generated. Now if we want to specifically see sales that are for specific employees we can choose an employee to look at the report for. And we can also choose what stores are included. So if we wanted to add another store to this report, we can go ahead and look at two stores at the same time for this employee and see a report based on those details. All right. And that's everything that we have for the sales screen. If you have any other questions, please make sure to check our other videos on the other features within RepairSpots.